Hello. This is how you refill our standard length and mini stick, stick pens. These are non-retractable, so you've run out of ink. Now, what you're going to start off with first is you need a refill. And if you look on this, if I set this up, you're going to have to snip off some of this refill for the full length, and you'll definitely have to snip off some for the shorter one. Try and snip it off about at least a quarter inch from the bottom like where my thumb is. What I'm going to do with the full length one is I'm going to always cut it off just before the empty part of the refill. That always works out. When you cut it off for the shorter pen, approximately about here where my thumb is, you use a set of side cutters. The side cutters crimp the plastic down before it goes. It won't leak. It uh, makes an opening for the air, but the uh, ink won't come back through it. So basically, first thing you have to do before you carry it away here, keeping yourself organized, is to remove the refill. Now, most of the times I try and make them so you can do it by hand. But, because it's going to be empty, a small set of pliers, very gently, give it a little twist, and you pull it out. That's your empty refill, for the sake of the video. I won't do the small one, but I'll do the big one. So you take your refill and you're going to snip this off. You're going to snip it off over a garbage can or some device as such. And you're going to snip it off just before the ink starts. And that's what happens when you do, do that. The end of the plastic crimps in, it isn't going to leak. If I was doing it for the shorter one, it would be shorter. Actually, I could do it for it if you want to see. So, we'll pretend this is the refill we had. The new one. This is the new one. We're putting it back in. You start it in. As soon as you get it in properly, that it's starting in the tip, try and force it in by hand. If you can't, a small board with a uh, 964 hole. And there you are. You've, you've got her in there and she's set to go. She's not going to twist. That's the reason for that. Is you don't want it twisting when you're writing. So that's why I make it a little hard to take out but not difficult. Now on the smaller pen, you would do the same thing again. Don't grab the metal. Grab only the plastic and do it gently. Just twist it and remove it. This one came out really nice and easy. Okay, so there's the refill there. I can take my refill and match it against it if I want to. I'll just take my pliers. We'll get it set up. If you make it too long, all it'll do is cause problems. Okay, so here I am. I'm crimping down on it. Remember, there's ink in this, so do it over a garbage can or someplace where it can go. And it's gone. Both parts are squeezed together. It's probably hard to see, but you'll see when you do it. It's not going to leak. Dispose of that. Here's your pen. Start it in. Some of these will go in by hand. Really nice and easy. If they don't, straight up and down, in. You can take a look around. Most times it's nice and clean. <clears throat> you put your caps back on. And your pens are now refilled and ready to go. Thank you very much.